So we just got to Lay from Delhi. We've been awake since about one in the morning. I'm so excited. The drive here was the most exciting part, like the realization that we're like actually in India and like the culture shock. We're going all over there and we're kind of heading up that ridge, which is quite daunting at the moment. So we are currently at Landham School down in Shea. This is the school we've been raising money for over the course of the term. You know, we were just able to have normal conversations with them, find out about their lives, play some, play some games they taught us, taught us some hand games. I'm looking forward to just hiking with my mates, but then also summit day, I'm really looking forward to that, because getting up there, the highest I've ever been in my life is about 3,000, so more than double that, it's going to be amazing. I don't think I'm going to miss my home comforts too much because I've kind of prepared myself that I'm not going to have them, but staying in the hotel in Ley was quite nice before kind of roughing it a bit in the tents. I can't wait to get to the top, it's so amazing. I've never been so high in my life. It's amazing that we've come from Cambridge, one of the lowest places in the UK, and now we're so close to something that's 6,100 metres. I just can't wait. You hear about people just plodding donkey-like up the mountain. They're not exaggerating. You genuinely do have to go that slow because there's so less of oxygen up there. And it's yeah. so steep. I've never seen anything this steep. Dizzy after a while, it's like, whoa, wait, wait. <laughs> so we're on the glacier now. Just walking up here. It's quite cold. And you can probably see because everyone's fully kitted out. Yeah, it's great. Anyone who said their legs weren't turning to jelly would be lying. So we didn't manage to get to the summit, but we did manage to get to a pretty high ridge, pretty close to the summit, and to be honest, that, the feeling of achievement when we made it up that ridge and the views there were just incredible. You know, we got to see K2, so it, it, in a way it was sort of our own summit. So I think we're all pretty proud of ourselves. Summit 12 has been really challenging, but incredibly rewarding. Summit 12 has been an experience that has left me with a sense of pride that I wouldn't experience in my everyday life. It's this incredible journey from Cambridge into a Himalayan summit. They have come down extremely proud of what they have done and the, the people that they've really grown into. Hats off to Tom for an amazing two weeks. I'll probably come away a few kilos lighter, but I'll definitely come away with a bucket load of memories I'll never forget.